Have you ever been up late one night on the computer and you start browsing online auction sites? You come across something that's interesting and think, there's no way I'll win this, but eh, let's put in a bid anyway and see if maybe I win it. Well, that happens occasionally to me and I don't usually win the items, but this one, as you can tell, has arrived at my doorstep because I won it for a pretty low price. Now, as you can tell from the title and the, the thumbnail, most likely, this is an iMac G3 line, and it's not a rare iMac, but it is one of the less common colors, as far as I can tell, and it's pretty desirable nowadays. And it, I only paid 50 bucks for it total with shipping. Now that's not the same kind of pricing that you would have got 10 years ago when I used to just be given these things because they were worthless, but for 50 bucks, that's not a bad price. So I'm gonna open it up, and see if it arrived in one piece, which I have suspicions that maybe it didn't. And then we will just take a look at it, see if it powers on, look at the condition, all that kind of stuff, and get to know this iMac G3 line that's going to be part of my collection um, that I'm trying to build up once again. And we'll just see how everything goes. I'm very excited. Let's get right into it. I am slightly concerned about the condition that this box is in. Um, overall, it's not bad. You know, the top of it's fine, the sides are fine, except for this side. But yeah, this side is, is quite bowed out, so you kind of see there. And that means one of two things, either the iMac is just tipped over a bunch, which shouldn't happen if it was packaged well, or the iMac was shipped with the screen facing that way, which is not good because as the box gets set down or it gets moved in shipping, um, that puts a lot of stress on the frame of the CRT. Well, if the screen is facing this way, the frame, um, and then breaks the mounts and then it causes all sorts of carnage. And if we take a look at the bottom of the box, there's, well, it's, yeah, it's not in great shape. It's quite bowed out. So we'll see what has happened. Hopefully it's not too broken, but just want to temper my expectations. All right, got my, well, drywall knife. Go ahead and cut that side. Cut that side. And cut that open. So somebody wrote the word top on here. I don't know if that means it's probably the top of the box. And well, I don't know what to think here. Um, there's not a lot of padding in there at all, especially not on the top. Although if it was shipped this way, you know, with the bottom of the box being on the desk as it is now, then maybe it's okay. Um, I can already see a green Apple logo and I'm really excited. I've never actually seen one of the Lime IMAX in person. So this will be my first time seeing one of those. Get rid of one, get rid of two. My goodness, this thing is disgusting. <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Now, I will admit, what I didn't realize when I was putting a bid on this thing initially is that it was sold for parts or not working. But it looked to be complete, although it didn't quite look this disgusting. This is this is going to need a full wipe down. I don't know. It, it seems pretty solid still. It seems very sticky. Oh, my God. Um... All right, let's try to get this thing out of the box and onto the desk. For the sake of documentation, uh, this was the layer of bubble wrap that was on the bottom. So one layer of bubbles may as well be nothing. And one layer on the sides, on the front, on the top, two layers on the top, I think. And that's it, which is not nearly enough for an iMac like this. So that's kind of unfortunate, but we'll see. We'll see if it made it in one piece or not. So here it is out of the box. And other than being extremely dirty, I don't know if I've ever seen an iMac quite this dirty. It seems to be okay. Um, let's see up here. I actually don't see any cracking in the bezel just yet. Now it is, again, really, really dirty and I can't tell. There's like, let's see if I can get a close up on this. 
it just looks like overspray from somebody spray painting something. That's really all I can think it could be. Um, yeah, maybe this IMAX sat in like a storage room or a loading dock where things are being painted and it's, it's all over. I think that's the texture I'm feeling over most of this IMAX is not necessarily just dirt, although there is a lot of that, as you can see right there, whatever that is, but there's a lot of paint on here. And what I initially kind of spotted right out of the box was this, which I thought was a crack in the plastic, but if I put my finger there and take it away, you can see maybe it was painted and when it was painted, you know, overspray got on this thing. Somebody had their finger there and then moved it. I don't know. It doesn't look broken to me, which is cool. But yes, yeah, look at that. Look at the grime on there. I'm definitely going to be using some magic erasers and some Windex and some, a lot of cleaning supplies to get this thing looking nice again. I think it'll clean up nicely. Um, there are some pretty significant scratches over here where it looks like maybe there was a label from an asset tag from a school, perhaps. Again, don't know the history of this thing at all. Maybe it was in a, like an art room in a, in a school, which is why it's so disgusting and covered in paint. But other than that, other than those things, this thing is actually looking pretty freaking good. So I'm trying to get this to appear on camera, but I can't really. I've got a flashlight here. Maybe that'll help. No, that's just made it a lot worse. But uh, there's kind of a line right here. And now that I'm saying that, I, th I think it might just be paint. Um, there's a line up here that kind of resembles maybe where a taskbar, or not the taskbar, the, the menu bar on the Mac could have been. And yeah, that all looks like dirt. So I think we're in good shape. I think this iMac is physically in good shape to be determined if it'll actually work, but We've at least got that going for us where um, I won't feel so bad if I have to put some parts into it. So with all of that said, let's go ahead, hook up a keyboard and mouse, hook up power, see what happens. I went and grabbed the uh, keyboard and mouse off of my 700 megahertz iMac G3 that's upstairs, much better condition than this. Got a power cord, so let's go ahead and see what happens when I plug it in for the first time. This really is the first time I plugged it in. Don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, well, that was uneventful. Hit the power button, see what happens. Okay, that's progress. So we got one beep. I don't recall what that means. I thought that meant like a firmware update. We have a blinking code on the front. I did hear the CRT come alive, or at least high voltage come to it. I hear the hard drive, which is kind of noisy, but not that loud. And yeah, we just got a flashing power button. I wonder what that's all. A quick Google search reveals that that one beep and then it not doing anything most likely means that it has no memory installed, which maybe that should have been something I checked. So, let's investigate that now. Does it actually have any memory installed? Unfortunately, I only have one stick of physically compatible RAM. It's a 256 meg stick that I think will work in here. Although, I, I, I think the iMac also wants PC100 SD RAM, but um, I don't know, maybe it'll work. It's the only thing I have, so I'm going to have to try it. And I don't know which slot to go in, so we're just gonna go in this one. Here's the original spec label for when this thing came from Apple of what it used to have and most likely what it probably still does have for specs. A 400 megahertz CPU, 64 megs of RAM, a 10 gig hard drive, DVD drive, and a 56K modem. So with new RAM installed, this thing should power on. So let's see if it works. Um. Right, so a little bit of troubleshooting later, and I discovered if I took a stick of RAM from my iMac G3 upstairs, put it in here alone, it didn't work. If I put the stick in that I had initially, it wouldn't work, but if I combine them, then it starts to post. So all I've seen so far is that the screen lit up and it didn't beep at me, 
Uh, I flipped it over, set it up, and I've also set up over here a second monitor because I know that getting the refresh rate on this is going to be a little tricky uh, if I want it to sync up with the camera. So I've set this up on the side so that it's not so awful to look at. And I don't know if it's going to work or not. I don't know if it's going to boot into anything, but let's see if it does. <laughs> No beeps yet. Screen flash, and it's booting right into Mac OS. Look at that. Now we know that the CRT is working right now, so I'm gonna actually switch over to this one and try to get that flickering out of frame. Starting Mac OS 10. Wow, did not expect that to be running Mac OS 10, first of all. And yeah, it's it's working. We can see on the other screen, we're just looking at the identical thing. So, clock battery is dead, of course. Can we readjust the resolution of the internal screen to be something a little more pleasant? 75 hertz. Uh, we don't have an option for 60, which I thought we might. Um, I could go down to 640 by 480 and force it to 117. Yeah, that's still not very nice. Okay, well, set it back and uh, use the external screen for right now. So, it booted, that's surprising. It does look like a pretty default Mac OS X install. It's running Tiger, holy crap. Did not expect that. Of course, we've got 768 megs of RAM which is quite high for a 400 megahertz iMac G3. Sounds like that hard drive is most likely the stock hard drive. Uh, where do we see that? ATA. What have we got? We have a Mac store. It sounds like a Mac store. It is not the original hard drive. So this thing, this thing has seen some upgrades in its time, I think. This is a 30 gig Mac store drive. It's still working which at this point in 2022, you know, how long is that after this was released? It's a 1999 iMac, so 23 years later, still working. Um, well, or thereabouts, probably a little less than that. DVD-ROM drive, as expected, 8 meg ATI Rage 128 video card in there. Um, yeah, everything is working. Didn't see any airport card installed. Okay, so this looks like it's been pretty well reset. Uh, I see that it's just called Mac Hard Drive, and the user was just Mac, I think. Yeah. But let's see if there's anything else on here that's worth taking a look at. Got Microsoft Office 2004, and that's it. So that was installed in 2005. Maybe this didn't have a new installation. September 8th, 2009 is when a lot of the stuff was apparently installed. So I don't know what's going on there. Is this copy of Office registered to anybody in particular? Registered to X, 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 X. Okay, so no, it is not. This very well could just be the install that was put on here by whoever got rid of it, maybe a school perhaps. Well, that's a little uneventful, but what is eventful, if that makes any sense, is that I have a working iMac G3, and I'm going to go ahead and just shut it down, because there really doesn't seem to be anything on here at all. Oh, you know what, let's take a look at the documents, uh, movies, no, nothing, there's not going to be anything on here. Cool, all right, now we'll shut it down. So yes, pretty stock install of Mac OS X, which is fine. Um, it would have been cool to see some data on here from a past life, but that's okay. No big deal there. So now I need to do a couple things with this iMac. First of all, I need to clean it because my goodness, I this thing is nasty. I need to get some RAM working in it um, that isn't from my iMac upstairs. 
I need to, I don't know, do other things with it. I don't know what else to do with it. I won't be doing that in this video. This is more of just a, an initial look at the iMac, and you guys don't need to see me clean it, although I probably will make a short video on cleaning this thing up and upgrading it at some point, so I'll just do all that at once. But for now, I'd like to thank you very much for taking a look at this very nice Lime iMac G3. And by nice, I mean it looks nice. The color is nice. It's certainly not in the best shape. I'll do another video at some point doing a couple little upgrades to this. Probably nothing like an SSD, but maybe an SSD. Some more RAM, uh, getting it all cleaned up, getting it looking nice once again, and then installing some software on it, and we'll see how all of that goes. I think that'll be a fun experience. Anyway, I've said it before. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.